Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Brewing Banter. Yeah. This past weekend, your Bruins were back in Poly Pavilion against the Oklahoma Sooners, and we put up a huge overall team score of 197.9. And even though we didn't win, it was still a meet we will never forget. That was so special for all of us. That meet was so much fun. I'm still getting chills thinking about this meet. Guys, you Bruin fans were electrifying on Super Bowl Sunday. How'd you feel, Fish? Out there? I definitely felt the energy from the crowd and the energy from the team. It was insane and definitely something indescribable. Would you say it's one of the best meets ever since you've competed here? I think so. I think it was by far the most exciting and just the most hyped meet yeah. ever. You guys are so loud. It was so much fun. It was packed too. Yeah. It was. I was like a little bit surprised just because Super too. Bowl Sunday Same. people want to like pregame. I don't know. <laughs> But you Bruin fans really came through and... You showed up for us. Yeah. I know. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, let's recap the meet. Rope tape. <laughs> so the Bruins start off on vault, and we threw up some very big scores. Nia Dennis scored a 9.925 in Napualani Hall. One judge gave her a 10. Her vault was beautiful. So much height. She stuffed the landing perfectly and scored a 9.95. And then your Bruins traveled to the uneven bars, and we also put up some very big scores. Pang Pang Lee coming through with her <laughs> 9.9, sticking her dismount, and Kyla throwing up another flawless routine, scoring a 9.925. And then the Bruins went over to Balance Beam, and Brielle, aka Din Din, <laughs> Din Din, started off the Bruins so strong with a 9.9, .9 beautiful routine, sticking her dismount, and Pang coming through once again with the perfect 10, Ooh. sticking her dismount for the second time in a row. Woo! <laughs> then going into the final rotation, your Bruins were tied with the Oklahoma Sooners. We had no idea, but we knew that we were going to have so much fun on floor. We had an amazing rotation. Felicia Hano scored her first perfect 10, and Caitlin Ohashi, Another 10. There were so many 10s in the last rotation. It was electrifying and so exciting. Fizz, tell us how you felt out there. Oh gosh, it was crazy. Um, I mean, after my first pass, I got pretty excited <laughs> and I knew I just wanted to show off my routine. And I think that's what I did. <laughs> I definitely fed off your guys' energy though, you guys being there. And I see you when I'm dancing, like yes. I see you guys dancing with me and it just makes me so excited. I so put happy. my whole heart. <laughs> were you nervous going into your floor team because you knew we were tied and did you feel pressured to throw up a big score? No, actually, I was telling Claire, our director of operations, on during the beam rotation that I was just so excited to go on floor. <laughs> like, I just wanted to get out there as soon as possible and I wasn't nervous at all. You know, missing last weekend and I was mm. kind of disappointed because of that, but I knew I would get the opportunity to do a floor routine again this weekend and I just wanted to go out there and have fun. You looked super you confident You looked so too. confident out there. <laughs> I was so happy when the judges gave you a 10. I think Fish is a 10 in my eyes every single time she goes and performs her routine because she sells it to me that she is a 10. Oh, so I was super stoked when you got a 10, Fish. Every time, every time you go out there, I'm like, oh, thanks. She just deserves a 10. <laughs> You've also been drilling in your landings too. I feel like that's just been something yeah. the floor lineup has been focusing on this past, like basically since season started. Since, so yeah, even now that everybody's day. getting comfortable with lunging and stuff like that, you could really tell it's like, boom, what deduction. Right. So, right. you know. I think this week we were all just focusing on like the little details mm -hmm. just because that was holding us back a little bit from mm -hmm. getting bigger scores. So we all just kind of focused on that and Paid off. Well, you showed them. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> definitely well, showed we, them. <laughs> Let 10 in. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. So Felicia has a legacy routine, and it's crazy because y'all look so similar. Uh, it's <laughs> so nuts. It's like deja vu. So what is it like having Sydney Sawa's iconic routine? Oh gosh, I've looked up to her for such a long time. Ever since my sister showed me her floor routine on YouTube, <laughs> I just fell in love, and I was just so excited when Miss Val gave me the okay. So. 
Sid got a 10 on that mm -hmm. floor routine. How did she it feel did. for, wow. yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah, so I just think that routine is just, so, it's so hype. Did you feel like you did that routine justice because now you got, you've gotten that 10? I think I did. I made that my goal this year, not necessarily to get a 10, but just to do her routine to the best of my abilities and just to pay the homage that it deserves. And, you know, paid off, got a 10 this week. Yeah. So, yeah, that was for you, Sid. Aww. Thank <laughs> you so much. Miss you. <laughs> twins. Twin, they're literally twins. I watched 100%. the video and, and I showed my friend, and we were like, it looks like Felicia. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have your own personality and your own twist. And did you yeah. change some of the dance too? We actually did change some of the dance just because it fit my personality a little bit more. Mm. But most of the iconic dance moves are still the same. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's one. Yeah. yeah. That was what my what is this? I feel like people just oh, want to yeah, know tell what the story tell of the okay. iconic routine. What is your role, your character? So I well, I kind of like made up my own character. Oh. So I'm an intergalactic space police. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting aliens. So this is like my oh, little alien I that's see. always trying to get me. And so I just kind of like swat him away, and I'm like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Creative. I, think I remember from Operation Peacock, she had like, it was a Nerf gun. I think you yeah. used. Yeah. Oh, was like <laughs> explain Operation Peacock, and did it help you get into character? Operation Peacock is basically where we all dress up as our characters from our floor routine. And we perform our floor routine as our characters, but it's a little bit different because we get to dress <laughs> up and put some makeup they on. They go all out. Have mm -hmm. some We're props. talking about lipstick, sparkle, fake oh, yeah. lashes. I had sparkles all over my face this year. Yeah. <laughs> all right, everyone. We're bringing back one of your favorite things about Broom Banter, Twitter questions. So let's get started. This one is from Charlotte ONG underscore. What is the craziest thing you have experienced as a Bruin, gymnastics, and college-wise? The craziest thing gymnastics-wise was probably the 10. <laughs> I think it takes precedent over everything now. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the craziest thing. The most recent, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> most memorable. <laughs> right. Um, and then school-wise or college-wise, just how much I've grown as a person from when mm. I came in freshman year. I was a completely different person. I feel like I've grown up a lot and matured and learned a lot of things, so... I think that's pretty crazy. <laughs> what's, the, what's the one thing you're most proud of from that transition? Probably my dedication to school. Oh, I think. Job fit. <laughs> yeah. So I'm applying for some internships this summer wow. to try to get a jump start yeah. on my future. So I'm really excited for that. I Yay. for sure can see the transition too. You yeah. are like. 180 degree turn from your freshman year and you're just so confident yeah, yeah i think confidence is the biggest thing <laughs> i mean thing. she's always been outgoing but just right your demeanor in the gym just has like changed. owned your personality too and I you're not afraid to go out into the waters and just fight aliens exactly <laughs> catch them tackle them <laughs> tackle them whatever comes your way <laughs> so this Twitter question is from Swags Like Mags, not Maggie Nichols though. <laughs> <laughs> Psych. <laughs> what made you decide to switch from power tumbling to artistic gymnastics? Oh, that's a good one. I pretty much went as far as I could in power tumbling and I knew that I wanted to do more with gymnastics and I felt that artistic was definitely the way to go. You know, you can get a college scholarship, there's a better chance of going to the Olympics. Mm. But I think my main goal was trying to get a college scholarship. Oh, awesome. Yeah, her so cool. your tumbling is so good. I think mm. she can tumble in your sleep. This meet was really special because we made it our teal meet. And so do you feel like it was very important to not only compete for the Bruins, but just compete for all of those survivors out there too? We had a different mentality going into this meet. Mm. I think we knew that this was a lot bigger than us, that we had to just kind of honor those who have come before us and who have been brave enough to step out and share their stories. And I think just as women too, we had to come together and just show the world that we are strong and we love our sport. Yeah. I felt that's exactly how I felt. Mm -hmm. I felt like everyone there just loved gymnastics so much and no matter what happened, that we could all just celebrate life. Yeah, there it was, was definitely a yeah. very emotional time. It was. At the end of the meet, we all came together, put the shirts on, and yeah. just the video played that Deanna Hong made so beautifully. It's gorgeous. And it was definitely like a finishing touch to the meet for sure. So much love was in the room. Oh, oh. so much love. <laughs> Your Bruins will be on the road next weekend, and we will be traveling to Cal. So make sure you catch it on February 10th at 1130 a.m. Gonna be getting up early. Gotta do our Bye. hair, our makeup, make sure it's on point. At like 6.30. <laughs> <laughs>
It'll be great. Love those early meats. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you next time on Brewing Banter. <laughs>